Under the same load, Arduino Uno R3 gets hot while R4 stays cool. You might assume it's all about that more efficient CPU, but you'd be wrong. The real reason is something nobody is talking about. All Arduino Uno boards operate at 5 volts. You can power these boards with USB, which fittingly also runs on 5 volts. Or you power them by an external DC voltage. If you do that, R3 can be supplied by 7 to 12 volts. R4 can be supplied by 6 to 24 volts. How is that possible without destroying it? The trick is to not connect this high voltage directly to the microcontroller. There are circuits on the board that reduce the voltage from whatever you connect to the DC input down to 5 volts. Arduino Uno R3 contains an LDO, also called Low Dropout Regulator. It works like this. The regulator maintains a 5 volt output using as much of the input voltage as needed and discarding the rest. The thing is, you can't just discard voltage. The excess voltage multiplied by the current results in power that the LDO must dissipate as heat. Excess input voltage doesn't power the load, it turns into heat instead. So what if we just feed exactly 5 volts into the LDO? Does that mean no losses? Well, not quite. Every linear regulator, even LDOs, has something called dropout voltage, which you'll find in the datasheet. That's the minimum voltage difference it needs to function properly. So if you want a solid 5 volts output, you actually have to supply at least 5 volts plus the dropout voltage. If you're using an Arduino Uno R3, try to power it with a voltage close to 7 volts. That keeps heat and power loss to a minimum. Going higher doesn't give you any benefits. It just makes the regulator work harder and waste more energy as heat. But how does Arduino Uno R4 stay so cool-headed? It uses a DC-DC converter. DC-DC converters are inherently different to LDOs. There are different types of DC-DC converters, but the one you can find on the Arduino Uno R4 is called a buck or also step-down converter. The way it works is basically like this. Instead of burning off the excess voltage as heat, they are taking small packets of energy from the input and delivering just enough to keep the output steady at 5 volts. Think of your buck converter like taking small sips from your glass of water only when you need it. Now compare that to an LDO. It's more like trying to drink from a garden hose. Not very efficient. You can't drink any faster, but you'll definitely get soaked. How does the buck work electrically? You have your output capacitor that stays approximately at 5 volts. As you draw a current from this capacitor, the voltage drops. Now the buck converter turns on its transistor, flushing fresh water, I mean current, through the inductor into the capacitor. Not only the capacitor is being charged, but also the inductor now contains energy. As soon as the transistor turns off, the energy still stored in the inductor is being transferred into the output capacitor. If you like this content, it would help my channel a lot if you could hit like and subscribe. Also sharing is very much appreciated. Now that we've covered the theory, let's see how this plays out in practice. Let's start with Arduino Uno R3. I would like to add a load to my Arduino that draws 100 milliamps on the 5 volt rail. I can use a resistor for this job. Let's calculate the resistance equals voltage divided by current equals 5 volts in this case divided by 0.1 amps which is 100 milliamps and this is equal to 50 ohms. So let's connect the resistor between ground and 5 volts. That should work, right? No! This resistor here, but be careful because yours might be different, has a power rating of 250 milliwatts. How much power will it get? The power is equal to voltage times current is equal to 0.5 watts. So 500 milliwatts. So we could use two of them, right? Right? Yes, this resistor here is actually 100 ohms. And if you put two resistors of equal resistance in parallel, you get the combined resistance of half of their value. And 250 milliwatts and 250 milliwatts combined is 500 milliwatts. 
With a combined power rating of exactly 500 milliwatts, it's like driving your car as fast as it possibly can. <laughs> I wouldn't do it 24 seven, but for this test here, it's fine. After all, it's under supervision. I could also use one of these bad boys. They won't even notice. It's a bit like buying a supercar to use it in the city only. It will work. It's way too expensive, but you can probably impress someone with it. So let's connect our resistors and see what happens. Let's start with a voltage of 12 volts. Okay, the voltage is exactly reversed. This is bad. It wouldn't do harm because of the polarity protection diode, but what's the point? Why are we consuming 142 milliamps and not 100 milliamps? Well, because there are other parts on this board that also consume energy. We see that the resistors get hot and the LDO also gets hot. If we reduce the voltage to let's say 7 volts, which is the minimum voltage, then we see that the current stays exactly the same, but the consumed power goes down. You see that the resistors are now the brightest spot. There is almost no energy wasted in the LDO right now. So let's calculate the power loss on the LDO. 5 volts on the output, 12 volts on the input. We lose about 0.8 volts on this protection diode. We see that the forward voltage here is at around 0.8 at this specific current. 11.2 volts left, a voltage drop of 6.2. And so the power on the LDO equals 6.2 volts and the current that flows is 0.142 amps, resulting in approximately 0.88 watts of power loss. So this thing gets hot. However, if we reduce this input voltage to 7 volts, 6.2 volts here, the voltage drop of 1.2 volts results in 0.17 watts. Not that much. And if we look at the datasheet of this regulator, a nice thing is that they have an internal thermal shutdown protection that limits the temperature to 175 degrees. What's the maximum input voltage? 20 volts. Let's push it to the maximum. So now the brightest spot is the LDO and we're going way beyond 100 degrees Celsius. So this is something that you don't want typically on your Arduino board. And you see how cool the resistors get in comparison now. So let's compare it to Arduino Uno R4. The current drops below 100 milliamps, which is interesting. We know that 100 milliamps are flowing here. So how is it possible that there is less current flowing into that thing than inside? Well, it is possible because of the DC-DC converter. If I open this resistor and I put in my multimeter to measure the current, you see that there are approximately 100 milliamps flowing. How is this possible? 12 volts. 68 milliamps, which is equal to 0.82 watts. And our output is 5 volts. Here we see the efficiency at around 0.1 amps, which we expect, and 12 volts input. This DC-DC converter has an efficiency of around 86%. So 86% are going straight to the output. This is 0.705 watts that are consumed on the output. So the difference is heat here. And the difference really is 0.115 watts. And how big is the output current? If we divide 0.705 by 
5, then the result is 141 milliamps. So the input current is the result of the power consumed in combination with the input voltage. The more voltage you connect, the less input current you get. Let me show you. If we increase the voltage, we see that the input current drops while the power consumption only increases a little bit. And this is actually also visible in this diagram. The efficiency drops with a higher input voltage. At 12 volts input voltage, there are no hot spots. Just as a reminder, this is what R3 looks like. And if we increase the voltage to 20, the DC-DC converter gets a little bit warm but far away from 111 degrees. You know what else makes use of this powerful DC-DC converters? I'm in the process of designing my perfect power over Ethernet smart home room sensor. If this is something that sounds interesting, please check out my playlist. And before you now click the buy button on Arduino R4, definitely check out my five minute video about the differences between R3 and R4. There are some things you need to know about. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.